But praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we are back at it again. I think I've addressed the issue. I hope that our, our technical difficulties are over. Father God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for all your many blessings. Thank you for your word, Lord. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' most holy name we do pray. We ask that you allow your Holy Spirit to tarry with us a while as we delve into your word. In Jesus' name we pray the Holy Ghost is our witness. Amen, amen, and amen. Ooh, family, I tell you what. I am so excited about God's word. I hope you are too. Uh, I hope you had a great time in worship on yesterday. Lord knows we did. Oh my goodness. The Holy Spirit showed up and did his thing. So, my brothers and sisters, I say welcome uh, to our seven-minute kingdom building. We thank you in the name of our Father God, his Son Jesus, and his precious Holy Spirit. We thank you for joining us today, and it is in his name that we are gathered. So now, um, I'm CL Champion, pastor of Mount Mary Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, but we have in-person worship each second and fourth Sunday. 10.30 starts our Sunday school. 11.30 starts our praise and worship service. Come. <laughs> Come where the fire burns hottest, as the elder saints used to say. Um, our purpose is to put God's word out there just a little bit more. There's another avenue that you can reach out and grab hold of his word. Our topic this week, you should tell the Lord thank you. All right. So our uh, scripture that we're we're studying this evening is First Thessalonians chapter five verses fifteen through eighteen, where we find the following recorded. It says, "See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God." In Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. God's word for God's people. Hallelujah. You should tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, as my youngest uh, daughter said when she was uh, uh, just getting past uh, her toddler stage, uh, she was talking with my mom, and mom asked her something, and, you know, and she said, isn't it obvious, Grandma? <laughs> oh, the view, <laughs> the truth, and the innocence of a child. And think about it. Jesus said that we must come to him as little children. In other words, in innocence, seeking him for all nourishment, all guidance, all leadership, all knowledge. Now, I know it should be obvious that we ought to tell the Lord, thank you. But some folks just forget. Some folks will sit down to a Big Mac or a Whopper or some KFC and get busy eating and don't even bother to tell the Lord, thank you. They don't bless the food. They don't ask the Lord to make it fit and nourishing for their bodies. They don't thank the Lord for the the finances that he provided in order for them to be able to get it. We have to make a conscious effort to remember to tell the Lord, thank you. We have to tell him, thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. Thank you, Lord. Because if it wasn't for you being on my side, Scripture says that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. That's enough to tell the Lord Thank you. Second Corinthians 12, starting at verse 9, says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. What does that mean? That means that when we are weak, he is strong. Hallelujah. We, you can't depend on yourself to do it. You have to depend on him. I will look to the hill from whence cometh my help. All of my help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and the earth. Woo! Jesus, I thank you right now. When God created us in the beginning, after he done created the world and hung the moon and sun and the stars, after he done all his work and he created us, he said, let us create man in our image and likeness. That's enough to tell the Lord, thank you. Luke 12, starting in verse 4, says that I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he has killed hath the power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. 
are not five sparrows sold for two far things, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But even the very hairs on your head, even my bald head, even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than any sparrows. Woo! Also I say unto you, whoever shall confess before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denies me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. That by itself ought to be enough to tell the Lord, thank you. Search out your mind. Search out your heart. Every time you find a memory of a situation where you don't, you know you didn't do it yourself. And you know you couldn't possibly have done it for yourself. You should tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father. Woo! Lord, I feel good right now. I'm praying to you, Father God, in Jesus' holy name. We thank you right now. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for our situation. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for your care. <clears throat> Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word that's right here. Lord, your word who that's given us guidance, that's given us comfort, that's given us understanding, Lord. Father God, giving us direction. Woo! Can't thank you enough, Lord. But with these lips right here, this, this vessel that you gave me, yeah, we're, we're going to serve you, Lord. We're going to praise your holy name. Father God, we thank you right now. In the name of Jesus and the Holy Ghost is our witness. And every child of God said, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And amen. Woo, family. I don't know about y'all, but I feel good. Every time I think about how good God has been to me and mine, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Woo, share this message with somebody. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know we was his blood. How did you get over? I know we was his blood. I know he was his blood that saved me. Oh, one day when I was lost, Jesus died on yonder's cross. And now I know it was his blood that saved me. Good night, family. Woo! I know it was his blood. I know he was.